Good morning, Edwin. Hi, Julia. friends. Good morning, Julia. Buenos oh, dias. Hi, Cookies. Oh, hi, Cookies. <gasps> Look, we have some of our Cookies that come every time here today. Oh, my goodness. Remember to ask your grown-ups to put your name in your bubble so we can call on you. Yeah, that's a really great way for us to be able to connect with our young people who came to see us today. Recuérdense de cambiar sus nombres, por favor, en su burbuja, así podemos nombrar cada persona por su nombre. Hi, Jaylene. Hola, Jaylene. I see Lila and her mom, Mariela, also put her name. Hola, Hello, Lila. and they're waving. Hi. Y Mariela. Lila is learning how to walk. And also, if it's possible for you to, I'm not sure which of our friends have joined us before or not, if it's possible for you to turn on the cameras, that also helps us to have a better connection with people who are visiting us today. But if you can't, we understand. And also remember, we are recording this. Estamos, estamos filmando. Les quería avisar que estamos filmando. We are recording this session today. Oh my goodness, look at this. We have, can you help me pronounce your name? Julie? And Amaya? Say. Here, I'll unmute yeah, you. Yeah. There you go. You can unmute yourself now. <laughs> Is Guille, as in Guillermo? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Buenos días, Buenos días, Maya. Maya. Hola, hola. And then who do we have here? Ilio? Hi, Hi Ilio. So we are going to get started in 30 seconds. Welcome everybody who's coming in. And we just want to tell you that we to change your name if you can in the box so we can call on you and that we are recording today. Good morning, Rebecca. Uh, DJ is asking, ¿Estás filmando los niños también? Estamos filmando todo lo que, lo que nos vemos ahora en el Zoom. Yeah, everything that you see on the screen is going to be part of the recording. So the, what you will see mostly is going to be uh, us and the book that we're going to be reading and artwork that we'll be looking at lately. But um, every once in a while, just as you see on your screen, that you notice that we see a young person or maybe you'll see a uh, gallery view of more than one small picture you might that might be part of the that would be part of the recording as well yes entonces eh, lo que ves en la pantalla es lo que estamos filmando vas a ver también uh, estamos filmando el libro y el arte que vamos a descubrir hoy así te, todo lo que ves estamos filmando y les quería avisar así todos saben lo que está pasando eh, are we ready to start I think we are. What season are we in now, Julia? ¿En qué estamos? ¿En qué estación estamos? La, déjame pensar. Let me think, Edwin. I think we have about to go into winter. Winter. Invierno. Yeah. And the weather outside. It's very cold, yes? Mm, show me. Everybody show me what it's like to be cold when you're cold. Ooh, cold. Very cold. Está frío. Uy, qué frío que estoy. And then when it gets very cold, what starts to happen? What, like, what is one of the things that only happens in the winter? ¿Qué pasa en el invierno? ¿Alguien nos puede decir? ¿Qué viene del cielo durante Some el invierno? Some things sometimes fall out of the sky. Jaylene. It looks go ahead. Like winter. And what happens in the winter? What comes out of the sky sometimes? Falls. No. White, yes, no, very yeah. good. Show us, everybody, can you with your fingers show us how the snow move your fingers down. like this? The snow falling, start at the top of the screen and move our fingers down. It's snowing. Snow, that's right. That's right. And before we continue, I just want to, anybody who might have their oh, crown. Oh, right, it's a good time to put on our crowns. It's, so That yeah. means we're ready to get started. Those of you who've been to Cookie Club before, we have our Cookie crown. What is a Cookie? Can anyone tell us? What's a cookie? What's a cookie? Raise your hand and I can, I can unmute you. Does anybody know what's a cookie? What's a cookie? 
Ah, Guillermo y Amaya, ¿qué es un coqui? ¿Qué es un coqui? Dile que tú eres boricua. Yo soy boli, boricua. No, pero dile lo que es un coqui. Pero, 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 pero sí, ¿qué es un coqui? Sí, ¿Pero qué? ¿Qué, qué, es? ¿Qué tipo ¿Qué de tipo animal? animal? Un tipo de sapo. Sí. Sí. Un tipo de También a veces se refiere como una rana. Una rana. ¿Y de a dónde es el coquí? ¿Where's the coquí from? ¿Quién, ¿Quién sabe? ¿De dónde viene el coquí? ¿De dónde viene el coquí? Can anyone tell us where the coquí is from? Guille, ¿sabes de dónde viene el coquí? ¿Dónde vive? ¿Dónde vive? Dile, ¿dónde viene el coquí? Donde nosotros vivimos. Donde estamos. Bueno, nosotros no estamos. Es de Puerto Rico. Dile. De Puerto Rico. Oh, yes. Por ti. Por ti, Rico. Yes, the coqui is from Puerto Rico. It's a small island in the Caribbean Sea. El coqui viene de Puerto Rico, que es una isla tan especial en el Caribe. Está lleno de agua. Lleno, lleno de agua. And the coqui is very, very small, but its voice is very loud, and it likes to say its name. Coqui, coqui, coqui. El coqui es tan chiquitito como el punto de mi dedo pero hace un sonido tan, tan, tan fuerte. Dice, coqui, coqui. Can everybody say that with me? Coqui, coqui. Coqui. Muy bien. So our club is named after this animal. So we're going to read a story today about the wintertime and look at artwork that's about wintertime as well. Hoy vamos a well, nuestro club. Se llama Coqui Club porque de este animal especial, el coqui. Y hoy vamos a descubrir con ustedes arte y también vamos a leer un libro y vamos a hablar de una actividad de arte. En Coqui Club, we always start with the coqui song, though. So we're going to do that first. Well, yeah. I'm going to sing the coqui song once in English and then everybody will follow me and we'll sing together. En el Club de Coquí siempre can, cantamos nuestra canción de Coquí y lo que vamos a hacer es primero vamos a cantar la canción en inglés. Primero Edwin va a cantar para los que no saben en la melodía y se, después vamos a cantar todos juntos. Gracias, y al final de, ¿Qué? Perdón, Gracias. Edwin. Ok, so we're, you, ¿Terminaste? Are you, are you, sí, I, terminé. Okay. Gracias. Sorry, I did not mean to interrupt. Um, so we're ready to sing the song now, Cookies. So we're going to start at the count of one, two, and three. The cookie, the cookie, so delights me. With this song, I love you. Every night when I the One more time. The with this song, song I I Every night Good job, everyone. Yeah. Okay, Edwin, I need you to unmute yourself. Thank you. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Edwin. Okay, great. So now we're going to talk about an artwork that's showing at El Museo. Ahora vamos a hablar de un, una, un, un retrato que está en el museo y Erwin nos va, nos va a decir y preguntar un poco sobre este, este retrato. 
So this artwork is by an artist named Janira de Mota from, from Brazil, and it's called Central Park. Este obra es de un artista que se llama Janira da Mota y Silva y viene del país Brasil, en Sudamérica. So this is a painting, and in this painting we see many things. Esto, en este retrato, vemos muchas cosas. Y ahora le queremos que todos miren muy bien para ver qué ven. What do you see? I see some children. But what are, what, what are some of the colors that the children are wearing? Can anybody tell us? ¿Qué son un, some un, of the colors ¿Alguien nos puede decir wearing? que... Uy, perdón, Erwin. Go ahead. ¿Alguien nos puede decir si ven los niños y qué color ropa tienen puesto? Jaylene, Guille. Well, I see some of them are wearing purple, some are wearing orange, some are wearing red. Yo, Edwin nos está diciendo que él ve que hay, gente, hay, hay niños que tienen eh, eh, ropa puesto que es naranja, púrpura, eh, amarillo. Eh, perdón, un segundo, Edwin. Helen is saying we are all muted. Yes, welcome, Helen. If you could change your name to your child's, or the, the, the child's name so we can call on them. And what we do is we ask people to raise their hand and then we call on you separately, individually. Thank you. Okay, go ahead, Edwin. Oh, so what else do we see in the painting? Let's see. I see that there are benches. I see that they are sleds. Ah. ¿Qué más vemos? I oh, let's go, Mateo. Thing. What do you see in this painting? I don't want to. What did you say? You said you didn't see sleds. Yeah. Oh. You didn't see sleds? If you look in the very middle of the painting, it looks like people are lying down and they have like a curved line underneath. That's because they're laying on a sled. I wish I could point at the screen, Mateo, but I cannot do that because see, by pointing, all you see is my finger over here, but you cannot see it on the painting. No. Edwin no está diciendo, y Mateo también, que hay niños que están sobre, sobre toboganes. ¿Alguien ve los toboganes en el medio del, del cuadro? Raise your hand if you see the, see the sleds, the children on the sleds. And the children seem to be building something with the snow. What is something that people build in the snow? Los niños están haciendo algo en la nieve. ¿Nos pueden decir qué es algo que se puede construir con nieve? Oh, Mateo raised his hand. I'm coming to you, Mateo. What do you build when this, with snow? Snowman. Snowman. Very good. Yes, a snowman. What else do we see happening in the picture? Or what else do people make with the snow? Con la nieve se puede hacer un hombre de nieve. No es cierto? Como nos dijo Mateo. Y Edwin pregunta, ¿qué es otra cosa que se puede hacer con la nieve? I'll give you a hint. Oh, Dicta, they're asking you, ¿qué, ¿qué más? What else can you do with snow? Jaylene, what else can you do with snow? Snowman. And what yes, else? Snowman. What was Edwin doing? Um, rolling. What am I throwing? Snow. What do we call it? Uh, it's round. Snowball. A snowball. Good job. Snowball. That's right. That's right. That's right. Una bola de nieve que se puede hacer y se pueden tirar. So there, this takes place, as I said before, in Central Park. Central Park is a huge park in New York City that's very close to El Museo. Este obra 
es, es, es hecho, bueno, no sé si está hecho, pero es un dibujo de un parque que se llama Central Park en New York, y este parque es de verdad y está cerca del museo, el museo del barrio. ¿Alguien una vez fui al Central Park? ¿Alguien conoce Central Park? Has anyone been to Central Park before? Jacqueline, Guillen, Amaya. Albert, have you been to Central Park? Yes. Elio, uh, have you been to Central Park? Have I been? Lila, have you been to Central Park? No, Lila has I've never been. been to Central Park. What about Everest and Elias? Have you all been to Central Park? Oh, yes. Nice. Go ahead. I can hear you. We can, I muted you. Go ahead. Have you been? Say yes. You've been? In your Superman costume? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we also see in the painting, we see buildings in the background. What else do we notice, Julia? Maria's iPad is trying to, I, I don't know the child's name. I'm so sorry, but I know that you have your hand up and you wanted to say something that you noticed. You're unmuted. Go ahead. What do you notice? Talk. Give us. Oh, I think we're having, oh, there you go. We can hear I'll you. Talk I went to Metro City before. You went to Central oh. Park before? I went to Central Park before. Can you tell us one thing you see in the painting that we have not talked about? It could be a color, it could be a shape. I do see like buildings that are covered with snow. Yes, very Even good. Even on the top. Even everywhere on the top. Not There's really snow on the on bottom. Top of the buildings. Yes, very good. Thanks for sharing that. Good job. Oh, somebody has a question. They asked, how do people make snowballs? This is coming from Gija and Amaya. Does any, any of our, did any of our friends can tell us, how do you make a snowball? Mateo wants to tell us. Go ahead, Mateo. How do you make a snowball? Hey, you. You pull up the snow and then you throw it at someone. And then you throw it back at you. Oh, so you ball up the snow with your hands? But throwing it at somebody is an important part of making a snowball, huh? We didn't talk about that before. Entonces, Guillén Amaya, lo que está diciendo tu amigo Mateo es para hacer una bola de nieve, se tienen que poco a poco aplastar hasta que se pone duro y se puede tirar como un baseball. Mostrame, Guille, cómo se tira un baseball. Amaya, cómo se tira un baseball. Shh. Muy bien. Me encanta esa pregunta. Gracias. Okay, so when we look carefully at our painting, we see in the front that there is one person wearing a red sweater. Does everybody see that person? Entonces, si ves en el medio, medio del el retrato, abajo, hay, una, hay alguien con un capucho y un abrigo rojo. So we're going to see somebody that's dressed kind of like that in the next story. Nosotros vamos a ver alguien que está vestido parecido en nuestro, nuestro, eh, nuestro libro. Okay, so. Nuestro cuento. Yeah, so we're going to get started reading the story now. The next slide. Has anybody mm. read this story before? ¿Alguien leo, leyó este libro una vez? might be familiar to some of you. The title of this story is The Snowy Day, and it's by Ezra Jack Keats. Este libro se llama Un Día de Nieve, y está escrito por Ezra Jack Keats. Y ven lo que tiene puesto. Uy. Can we go back to the other slide? Yeah, thank you. Ven, ven lo que tiene puesto el, el, el niño. Do you see what he's wearing? Yeah, he's got the red jacket on like the person in the painting. Okay, we're ready to start. Vamos a leer. Oh, look at him looking at his footsteps in the snow. So excited to read this story. Mm. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. 
It covered everything as far as he could see. Una mañana de invierno, Pedro se despertó y miró por la ventana. Había caído nieve durante la noche. Todo estaba cubierto hasta donde se le alcanzaba la vista. We're going to go to the next page. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Después del desayuno, se puso el traje para la nieve y salió corriendo a la calle. La nieve estaba apilada muy alta a lo largo de la cerca que la gente pudiera cami caminar. We're going to go to the next slide. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Crack, crack, crack. Sus pies se hundieron en la nieve. Caminó con las puntas de los zapatos hacia afuera. Este, de esta manera. Caminó con las puntas de los zapatos hacia adentro. Así. Can everybody show me what your feet would look like if you went into the snow? Crack, crack, crack with your hands. Show me with your hands. Oh, nice, Edwin. Look what Edwin's doing. He's going like this. Oh, Jaylene, I see that. Guille, I see you. Mateo, can you show us? Elio, can you show us? Oh, I like it. Maria's iPad. Nice. Okay, are we ready to go to the next slide? Yes, I think we are. Thank you. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. How can you drag yourself slowly? Drag yourself slowly to make tracks. He found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. Después arrastró sus pies lentamente para dejar surcos. Encontró algo que sobresalió de la nieve y también dejaba un surco. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Era un palo. Un palo perfecto para golpear un árbol cubierto de nieve. Hey, I have what's... a question, Edwin. Yeah. What would happen if, or what happened when Pedro or Peter took his stick and he smacked on the tree? Hmm, what do people think is going to happen? Does anybody have an idea? What will happen if you hit a tree that has snow on it with a stick? ¿Qué pasa si agarras un palo y golpeas un árbol lleno cubierto de nieve? ¿Qué va a pasar? Guille, contame, yo, yo te veo. Que se cae. Que se cae la nieve. Mostrame cómo se cae. ¿Cómo se cae? ¿Cómo se cae? Así. Oh, so the oh, so would fall. Oh. Very good. Can everybody do the motion of hitting the tree with a stick? What would that be like? How would you hit the tree with a stick? Good job, everyone. Okay, now Muy we bien. will go to the next page. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. Plaf, cayó la nieve sobre la cabeza de Pedro. Plaf. Oh, look at him walking in the snow. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. Pensó, Pedro pensó que sería divertido jugar con los niños más grandes que se estaban lanzando bolas de nieve. Oh, what does Pero, it look like when we throw snow again? Sorry. No, 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 it's okay. Pero él sabía que todavía era muy pequeño para jugar con esos niños que son mucho más grandes. Mejor esperar unos, un poquito. So when we throw a snowball, what's that look like? 
Can we all pretend to throw snowball? You see the snowball hit him <laughs> in his jacket. You could see that he has white spot on his jacket now. Ves en la en, en el abrigo de Pedro que hay una marca blanco que sería la bola de nieve, ¿no? Okay, next page, please. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. You see, he's moving his arms up and down in the snow like this to make an angel. Entonces hizo un muñeco de nieve sonriente y también ángelas de la nieve. ¿Cómo se hace un ángel de nieve? Se pone en la, en la nieve y con los brazos arriba y abajo hacen el dibujo con el cuerpo. You're using your body, Edwin, to make a shape in the snow. Yes, I've done this. It's very fun. Next page, please. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mound of snow and slid all the way down. Se imaginó que era un alpanista. Escaló una enorme, alta y gigantesca montaña de nieve y se deslizó hacia abajo. Whee! He probably could have used that sled that we saw in our painting. Yeah, maybe so. I wonder what happens next. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. Puntón. Un puñado de nieve y luego otro y otro más los apretó con fuerza formando una bola que se lo guardó en su bolsillo para usar al día siguiente. Después volvió a su cálido hogar. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. Le contó todas sus aventuras a su mamá mientras ella le quitaba las medias mojadas. He's also not wearing his red coat anymore. No, Edwin, no tiene su abrigo rojo más. Se quitó. Next page, please. And he thought and thought and thought about the, them. I think he's talking about the snowballs. Mm. Y pensó, y pensó, y pensó en todo lo que había hecho. Before he got into his bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. Hmm. Antes de irse a la cama, buscó en el bolsillo. Su bolsillo estaba vacío. La bola de nieve no estaba ahí. Se sintió muy triste. Where did it go? Yeah, I was just going to ask you the same thing, Edwin. Where did it go? Can anybody guess? Or have any ideas? Albert, you want to tell us? Where did it go? Go ahead, Albert. You can unmute yourself. Oh, try one more time. Albert, you need to mute yourself. Is your grown up there to help you? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, somebody else had their hand up, Edwin. Jaylene did. Jaylene, do you want to tell us? It melted. I think that's what happened too. It melted. It melted, yeah. So then when it melted, Jaylene, what was it? When snow melts, what happens? Um, what does it turn into? Um, what does ice turn into when it melts? Um, water. Oh, yes, very good. Yes, it turns into water. That's right. Let's wonder what happens next in the story. While he slept, he dreamt that the sun had melted all the snow away. 
se durmió y soñó que el sol había derritido toda la nieve. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. Pero cuando se despertó, su sueño había desaparecido. La nieve seguía cubriendo todo y estaba nevando otra vez. Can we all do with our fingers, make the snow fall? ¿Nos puede mostrar cómo se cae la, la nieve? ¿Cómo se cae? Good job, everyone. Muy bien. Next page, please. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall, and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. Después del desayuno, llamó su amigo que bebía enfrente, y juntos fueron a caminar por la nieve, cada vez más profundo y silenciosa. I think that's the end of the story, Julia. That is, Edwin, and I love that story that I wanted to keep finding out what Pedro was going to do that day in the snow. Did you? Yeah, I was very curious to see what else Peter was going to do. So we're going to stay here for, on this page for a moment, and I want to tell everybody about our art activity today. Okay. Jaylene was so great in telling us that if you have ice and it melts, it becomes water. And what happens if you have water and you freeze it? What's the opposite? Raise your hand and I'll call on you. Elio, what happens to water if you freeze it? You need to unmute yourself. Can you unmute yourself, Elio? <laughs> having trouble. Okay, we'll come back to you. Keep that thought. Jaylene, can you unmute yourself and tell us what happens to water when you freeze it? Oh, wait, I think. Um, 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 Mateo, do you want to help Jaylene out? Okay. Um, ice. It becomes ice. And guess what we're doing for our art activity today? I'm going to show you. So we are going to, we are not going to do it together today because we don't have time, Edwin. But I'm going to tell everybody, and today I'm going to show you a little bit more than we usually do because it's a little bit, just the instructions are a lot. So what I did here, can everybody see my screen? What's I that? Put, I put water in an ice cube tray and then I took food coloring. Do you see the food coloring? And I put a few drops of food coloring in the ice cube tray. And then I stuck some toothpicks or a plastic fork or anything that you can find or a popsicle stick. And I put it in the freezer and the water became ice. Look, I'm going to take one out. Do you see this? Oh, so cool. Isn't that cool, Edwin? Yes. And then what I got to do is I got pieces of paper, Edwin. I've got paper towels and I did a snow painting. I did an ice painting. And what's so cool about this is as it melts, just like the snowball in our story, it leaves all kinds of different markings. So, and look what happened here on this paper towel. It bled, meaning the, the color spread. I really like this one, Edwin. That's so great. So you took the ice cubes and were painting with them on the paper. Exactly, I did like so. I went across my painting like this, Edwin. That looks like a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And guess what happens? Once it melts, you just put it back in the freezer. You can do this many, many times over until the ice cube is all gone. So we are going to send you the instructions today so you all know how to do this at home. I think that's very exciting. I think it's a fun activity and it reminds me of our story and our artwork. So cool. It's very cool. Entonces, rápido en español, les voy a contar que 
Lo que hice acá es un dibujo con hielo. Se pone agua en, en una de estas de plástico, no sé cómo se llama esto en español, perdón. Y después puso colorante de comida, pero no es necesario, se puede usar colorante de cualquier cosa, pero con los niños es mejor de comida. Y después puse los palitos, o puedes poner plástico, tenedor o cuchillo en el freezer y pude dibujar sobre papel. Este le, le hice mi hija, que es como el capucho del niño en nuestro cuento. No la vamos a poder hacer hoy, pero la vamos a mandar las direcciones de cómo hacerlo en casa. Y nos encantaría que nos muestra por las redes sociales en, en hashtag Coqui Club o el museo en tu casa para ver qué hicieron. ¿Qué vamos a hacer next, Julia? Well, next we are going to we are going to um, I, we want to tell everybody that el museo is open on Saturdays with time tickets. So you can go see Janita's painting of the children in Central Park with your grown up. You just need to make sure you get your tickets ahead of time. And we want to let you all know to remember that um, there are some upcoming activities and celebrations like Three Kings at El Museo. So please check the website, uh, which will have all the up to date information. And last but not least, we haven't sung our coqui song in Spanish, Edwin. Oh. Yeah. So on the count of three, vamos a, con, vamos a can, cantar, perdón, el canción del coqui en español. Vamos a decir hasta tres. Y vamos a todos cantar, ¿ok? Esto solo y, una vez. De una vez. Uno, dos y tres. El coquí, 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 Just to uh, continue a little bit of what Julia was saying before, we will have Three Kings celebration on January 6th. So you can please go to our website, edmuseo.org, for more information. And later this month, we will have another session of Coqui Club. We're going to have a special story that will also be talking about Three Kings. So I hope that you can all join us. We would love to see your beautiful artwork. Um, that you would that you created uh, that you and you will create from the activity that Julia did with you, and you can share that with us on social media with the hashtag El Museo en tu casa. Okay, so it's time for us to say goodbye to everybody. I think so. Yeah. And we hope to see you soon. We hope to see you next time. Okay, and you can check on the website. Goodbye, Jolene. It was nice seeing you today. And our next friend, Ilio, it was nice seeing you. See Bye, you next Elio. time. Mateo. Bye, Mateo. Thank you for coming, Mateo. Nice to see you. Everest and Ilias, thank you for the kisses. Oh, so nice. Aw. To you too. And Guise and Amaya. Ciao.